Research Design Lab. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use an RDL Uno Atmega 328 from researchdesignlab.com. Let me show you the kit contains first. Here we have a USB A to B cable, a FT232 breakout port and an RDL Uno Atmega 328. As you can see, we can connect the female header of the RDL Uno to FT232 breakout port. By this way, we can interface the RDL UNO board with USB of the computer via the FT232 breakout board. In this video, I am going to show you the following features of the board. Before you start programming, connect your FT232 breakout board to the computer and install the driver software required for this. Now, let me demonstrate the LED blinking program. Open the LED blinking program, compile the code and upload it into the RDL UNO board. Once the board has been programmed, you can see a green SMD LED flickering every alternate second near the power indicator. Uh, let me show that more clearly. This confirms that you can use the same Arduino software to program this board. Next, I'll be showing you how to send wireless data across ZigBee modules using this board. Take two pre-configured ZigBees. Since the board's pins D0 and D1 is connected to ZigBee interface, we will use a simple serial code from the Arduino library to demonstrate wireless data transmission. Here, I have used unlock to serial out code. Modify the code to add an extra delay. Compile the code and upload it to the RDL UNO board. Once you are done uploading the code, mount the ZigBees on the ZigBee footprint of the board. Make sure you are placing it correctly as shown. Now, power on your RDL UNO board. The data is now getting transmitted wireless across the ZigBee module. To view the wireless data, let us use an ZigBee USB adapter which connects a ZigBee to a computer. As you can see, there is no wired connection across the two boards. Now, let us open a serial window in the computer. Here, I have used a hyperterminal software. Set it to its default settings by selecting the appropriate comp connection of your ZigBee USB adapter. If you are familiar with Arduino analog in serial out code, then you should be knowing that an analog pin A0 is constantly monitored and its digital value mapped between 0 to 255 is being printed on its serial pins. The same is happening here as well. This demonstrates the wireless transmission through RDL UNO using ZigBee modules. Now, let me demonstrate how to use a micro SD memory card on this board. First, you need to format the SD card by connecting it to a computer. Make sure you use FAT32 as the file system. Once the formatting is been done, eject the memory card and connect it to your RDL UNO memory card slot. We no longer require the ZigBee module, so let's remove that first. Carefully slide your SD card into the slot of the board. Next, let us dump the sample code into the RDL UNO. Google for the website name along with 5V memory card slot as the keywords. Open the hyperlink. 
At the bottom of the product page, you can see few sample codes. Click on the Arduino code. Copy the code and paste it in the Arduino software. Once you are done pasting the code, compile the code to check for any errors. Once the compilation is successful, connect your RDL Uno to the FT232 breakout port. After that, upload the code into the RDL Uno. Once you are done uploading, open the serial window of your Arduino software. Now hit the reset button on the RDL Uno board. Let me do it repeatedly. As you can see, every time I hit the reset button, an additional line of string testing 1, 2, 3 is getting printed on the serial window. Basically, this string is being read from the memory card. So every time I press the reset button, a new line of string testing 1, 2, 3 is added into the memory card. Following this, all the contents from the memory card is being read and printed on the serial window. Let us now disconnect the RDL Uno from the computer and remove the SD card and connect it to the computer using this USB memory card adapter. Let me finish connecting it to the computer now. Open the contents of the memory card. As you can see, there is a file called test.txt. As you can see, you have 5 times of testing 1, 2, 3 string in the memory card. Same was been printed in the serial monitor as well. This demonstrates the use of micro SD memory card in RDL Uno at Mega 328. Thank you for watching. Visit us at researchdesignlab.com.